Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to level a saboteur, specifically a purifying flame mine saboteur, but you can basically use this to level any mine build. That's just the skill that I use. This isn't a video for pathing. It's more what to do in town. I will link a video on pathing in the description. I use Tai Killer's caster filter. I'll also put his video in the description on how to download that. This is the tree that I use, and this is a good tree to start any mine build. I'm going to get into how to make your wands. So first, what you're gonna, what I'm going to want to do is make a wand magic, and it's going to want to have the links that you want for a while. And then you're going to want to make a topaz ring by vendoring an iron ring and a green gem together. You can also just use a, to a topaz ring that you pick up off the ground. That'll work fine too. And then you vendor the magic wand, the topaz ring, and an alteration orb together. And it gives you a wand that has flat added damage to spells. And it requires level 8. And they can do a better version of this craft if you if you use a magic topaz ring but that requires level 14 and then you can do an even better version of it if you use a rare topaz ring by using an essence on it but this requires level 20. Also, whenever you're vendoring uh, rare and magic items, you need to know that unidentified items give transmutation shards, and identified items give alteration shards. Also, you can look for links and vendors by typing B dash B dash B. This will show you items that have three blue links. Now I don't have any, but if you want to look for items that have two blue links, you can also do that. Or if you want to find items that have a blue and a green link. And that's really good for this build because its ideal setup is blue, blue, green. Obviously, this is on a bow, but if it was on a like a piece of armor, then it'd be perfect. You can also look for runner's boots, which are boots that give movement speed by typing in runner, and it'll highlight those boots. I don't have any right now, but if I did, they would show up. Now, let's get into the run. I'm going to be skipping around a little bit because I want to show what to do in town and not exactly everything that I do. Uh, whenever I'm not in town, so I kill Hillick around 110. So whenever I kill him, I pick up everything that he has. And then I go sell most of those items, basically all of them, to, to Nessa. Uh, I, had a, I had a unique drop here. I just vendored it. I didn't look great and even if it would have been great this it wouldn't have been a good example of how to do it okay so here what i do i'm putting this dagger into my offhand now this is useful because i want to level some gems in my offhand so if you hit x it brings you over or okay see here i buy a wand because i didn't have a wand drop from hillock if you have a wand drop from Hillock, then you don't have to buy one. And here I am venering my items. So there, I actually bought Purifying Flame from Nessa. If you aren't doing Purifying Flame, you don't have to worry about that. But then I come get Storm Blast Mine from Tarclay. You'll probably do that no matter what build you're on. And then I look for my, my Lynx and my Runner's Boots. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. I switch this wand to my offhand. 
and then I put my main skill in the wand, and then I level Purifying Flame in this dagger in my offhand, because I'm not going to be using Purifying Flame for a while. I'm going to be waiting until I, like almost the end of Act 1 to actually use Purifying Flame Mines. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So now I will skip to the Hail Rate kill. That's at around 540. So I do the same thing. I pick up all of his items just to vendor for, uh, for, you know, uh, uh, the transmutation shards and the alteration shards. So I pick up the Quicksilver. All right, this this part's a little... I, I'm going to have everything in the description. So this is a part where I would go to the description and like maybe put this in a notepad or something. I got a Quicksilver Flask and Onslaught Support from Nessa as quest rewards. And then whenever I get done vendoring items... I buy, I buy, uh, Swift Assembly, so I buy Frost Bomb, Swift Assembly, and Arcane Surge from Nessa, and then I go to Tarclay, and I get Orb of Storms and Frost Blink, and now ideally, you want to, uh, be able to link uh, Frost Bomb to Onslaught, you want to be able to link Arcane Surge to Orb of Storms and Frost Blink, and you want to be able to link Swift Assembly to Storm Blast Mod. Now, if you don't get the links for this, you can level some gems in your offhand, and uh, but the the priority is uh, Frost Bomb and Onslaught. So you need a blue green and see, I usually wouldn't level with a chest plate here, but it was important enough to me to be, to have that blue green that I actually put it, put frost bomb onslaught in my chest piece. So that will be in the description. Don't worry too much about following what I just said. Just, I don't know, put it like on your second monitor in a notepad or something, what I have in the description. And then I'm skipping to the Dweller of the Deep kill next. So here, whenever I go back to town, I'm going to sell all the items uh, that I got from the Dweller. Oh, okay, see here, I pick up Added Lightning. And then from Tarclay, I get the Book of Skill, and then I sell all of my items. And here I'm identifying some items because I have a transmute and I don't have any alteration shards. And I want an alteration for that wand craft that I was talking about. Oh, and here I'm buying a wand because because I didn't have the right links on my wand. Uh. Oh, and I, yeah, and I'm linking added lightning damage to frost bomb. So now the ideal links are frost bomb, added lightning damage, and onslaught. Also, I want to add, you are not going to be clearing with storm blast mine or whatever mine skill you're using mines aren't great for clearing they're mainly good for bosses so you're going to be using orb of storms and frost bomb for your clearing mostly and then whenever you get to a boss you can throw all of your mines onto the boss and uh and they're great for that but not great for clearing all right and Yeah, here I think that I'm just trying to... I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'm 
I'm not great at this game. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip to the Brutus kill now. Um. Picking up all of his items that he dropped, or at least everything that I can fit in my inventory. I'm buying, or well, okay, I'm selling everything first. So there, I sold enough to get enough things to get one transmute, and then I identified everything else to get alteration shards. But here, I'm buying smoke mine from Nessa, and then I'm getting flame dash from Tarclay. Oh, and then and then I'm looking for my runner's boots and my links. There were three blue boots right there but i already have runner's boots so i didn't really care very much about getting them and i think i'm done in town yep or well, okay maybe not oh here i start to do the wand craft but i don't have a transmute left for the wand craft so you have to you have to be sure that you have oh no wait maybe i can okay i was able to do it here i got lucky i already had a magic wand if you don't have a magic wand you actually need a transmute to make the wand magic but i i just got lucky basically um all right, now I'm done in town. So I'm going to skip to the Fairgraves kill now. And... Uh, here, you can actually see the damage. I get to stack up all my Stormblast mines on Fairgraves. And basically one-shot them. Um, now... I don't do a lot in town this time. I basically get a green gem. None of these gems are good, so you get a green gem for the lightning resistance wand. And then you get the Book of Skill from Bastel, and you're done in town. And that's basically it. Uh, oh, I look for runner's boots, and I look for... I actually had some, but I already have runner's boots. So I realized I didn't need them. Um, so I'm basically done here. Uh, next, I just kill Reveal. Uh, and I'm actually going to show you this entire phase because I want you to see the damage. At this point, I have switched to Purifying Flame Mines. I couldn't do that before because I didn't have enough transmutation orbs to buy the uh the see the damage is pretty good i i could have switched earlier but i didn't have enough orbs of transmutation to buy the blast chain mine support gem uh so i ended up switching a little bit late Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can just go to Act 2 for at this point. You don't really get any rewards in Act 1 for killing Mervale. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going straight to Act 2. So that's it. Uh, I hope that this video is useful. And I will... Whoops. <laughs> See you in the next one.